Good evening and welcome to Crafting by Moonlight. This evening I'm going to continue my Alice in Wonderland theme party and since my daughter loves to read, one of the things I thought about, even though the cool mom says no, don't do that, um, the nerdy mom who enjoys books just as much as she does thinks that this is a great idea. So one of the things that I'm going to create and help you guys create just in case, you can do this for every day, you can do it for um, a special book party, you know, if you have a book club or whatever, you can do it that way. Um, I just think it would be really fun, a little cute, and then once again, something that the kids can walk away with. Um, too many parents nowadays love to do pinatas full of stuff, and I'm always kind of the one that never really liked that stuff. So let's get started. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm actually making a double-sided um, bookmark and you can print out whatever you want. Um, I'm doing this homemade style so I've got my black cardstock underneath and I believe it's an inch and a half and then these are cut a quarter of an inch um, all the way around smaller so you have a quarter of an inch here, quarter of an inch here, and two quarters of an inch here um, or a quarter of an inch on each end. So I like them because it's it to me it looks a little bit more elegant it looks a little bit more put together and then I'm doing this um, teal green it's actually kind of a green instead of a blue and then purple for the kids and um, I also have this stamp now I have this stamp but I also have believe it or not I actually have an Alice in Wonderland stamp um, and this actually will fit. So that's perfect if I want to use that later on, which I probably will because it is Alice in Wonderland themed. But I come up with this saying and I don't know if maybe I picked it up somewhere along the way or it's something that just came to mind. Um, but the saying is books are the keys to adventure. And that's kind of one of the things about Alice in Wonderland party is that keys are actually kind of part of the theme. Um, she needs keys for doors, she needs keys to basically unlock who she is really inside um, on the philosophical level. So you can, like I said, you can print these out, you can handwrite them, you can cur um, do them in cursive, you can do them in print, however you want to do them, whatever makes you feel comfortable and what you have time for. I am still a month out from um, my daughter's party, so I have a little bit of time. So you want to think about where you want your stamps and you might want to stamp on either side. So you have like the rabbit stamp on this side, you can have the Alice stamp on the other side, um, and then we need to put the saying in the middle. So you can put it this way, which I actually started to put it this way and I kind of don't like that. So I think I'm going to go this way and see how that works. So we're going to start off with books and you want to kind of make it big so the kids can read it. Like I said, the nerdy side of me was totally stoked. The cool mom said, no, don't do that. But I did speak to my daughter, and she wanted to do that. So tape runner um, to secure these, which I actually did not do because, once again, my tape runner is out. So I just used a little bit of, um, I used glue dots. But because I'm laminating them, um, I kind of don't need the tape runner. The glue dots will do, so it kind of saves you a little bit there. And then I'm going to quickly write this out for you. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to have a two-part tutorial. So um, you can cut all your stuff out and then glue it all together. Write it all out, do all your stamping, whatever you want and then go from there. You can do this with any with any book, um, any theme. You know, a few years ago my daughter did um, Harry Potter and we also had a Monster High and every time it seemed like we were giving out some form of books or journals or bookmarks. I think I bought um, Monster High bookmarks that year so you can mix and match. This does not have to be anything special. So I'm trying to get this on as fast as I can. 
The problem with these gel pens is that they have, sometimes have problems coming out, so you have to kind of go slow. And since I'm in a hurry, and then adventure may not go side to side. It may not go this way. So you can always turn it or you can put it on the back and put adventure really big and then have a stamp. So that works. And then in the second tutorial, I'll actually show you how I'm going to laminate them. And I'm actually, I have lamination, actual lamination sheets. Um, but because I do not own a laminating machine, I'm going to get creative and show you guys how to do it with your iron. So stick, um, stick with me, stay tuned, and when I have that up and running, I will post it on YouTube. As always, my name is Alice, this is Crafting My Moonlight, and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting.